the way to native chronicles we're uh, going to do a little continuation video of a previous one made on how to build a shooting bench out of a single four by eight piece of plywood if you haven't seen it it's uh, going to be referenced on the top corner of your screen you can see the full video on how to make this table it's done with just a single four by eight sheet of three quarter inch thick plywood and uh, since i uh, released a video on this, the, uh, there was a lot of response to it, people requesting plans and uh, so a lot of interest and I think this is the type of thing that really fits the bill for uh, other people. So uh, looking around a little bit more at what other people are doing uh, and different approaches, there's a lot of variations on this general design of the table. Uh, I uh, came across an idea where you can kind of bolt the table together. This was done by a manufacturing company, but I took a little look at that and I thought, yeah, you know, I could, all these pieces, when you take this table apart, it's actually quite hard to transport it and get it loaded into a vehicle. So there's quite a few pieces and the total weight is a total weight of a four by eight, three quarter inch sheet of plywood. So it's, it's a bit of a task to, to manhandle this thing around and that can discourage you from making use of the table. So what I'd like to do today is I'd like to show you what I've developed to uh, remediate that problem or minimize it uh, to a large extent, I believe, and I think I'll be quite successful with it. Um, I'm going to be uh, releasing some plans for how to do this. At the end of this video, I'll put a link to my, uh, uh, I'll show my email. You can email me directly and I'll fire you off a set of a plans in PDF format. So uh, basically what this is going to require, just once you've got your table built, again I say refer to the initial video that goes through the whole process and provides plans for, complete plans for building this table. Very simple. Uh, so when you have this table built, all you have to do is drill a few holes through it and uh, get yourself some lag bolts and washers and wing nuts and you can have this thing put together. Now the tricky part was to figure out the right bolt pattern because there's a lot of open spaces in this design so I'm assuming that you're following this this design with open cut spaces to reduce weight and uh, but you can do it either way uh, so uh, the way it's laid out those bolts have to go through the right portions so that all the various big and small pieces are held together and not flopping around and uh, done in a way that's simple enough to accomplish. So that said, simple. Uh, simple is, <laughs> depends on your definition. Um, as I said before, I've got plans for this to put this together in a compact unit, but if you, down underneath here I have a set of plans, the same ones that I'm providing for you, that show the step-by-step the -step assembly of the table with which bolts go where and that uh, will help you a lot. You might want to take that piece of paper as I've done and just paste it right onto the uh, the upright portion, the, the lower portion there or some place where you can refer to it when you're putting the table together because that will help you a lot. Um, the uh, other thing about this is the length of the bolt, light bolts. Uh, you want to have Four bolts that are ideally five inches long. They couldn't be longer, but uh, no, three bolts that are five inches long and three eighths inch uh, uh, bolts. Those are leg bolts and one that's a six inch because you're going to need six inches to get through one portion. So without further ado, let's, let's take this table apart and then I'll show you how it goes together. And uh, I'll put in a little uh, screen capture of uh, the plans that you can obtained for me uh, on the corner of this video so you can reference that a little bit. It'll show you the various steps. So as we go along. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to disassemble the table. Uh, let's begin by taking 
this off. I've done this two-part tabletop, as I mentioned in the previous video, as a way of reducing the overall size of the table so they can fit into a smaller trunk. I've also got a seat here, and I think I'll take this up right off. This one off here, I can do it. Now this part here is also <coughs> designed to be compact, which you'll, you'll see. This is just a cross brace that slides over to stiffen it. And there's where I have my assembly plans put together here. So now we got this thing put together, uh, taken apart, I should say. Let's get it put together. Okay, so let's uh, start with this part here. This is part of the tabletop. I'm going to take this and I'm going to lay it here, okay? Then I'm going to take one of these five inch bolts and I'm going to put that through here with a washer on the bottom. And here's where I'm going to use the six inch bolt. This will all make sense in a little while here. Next we take the, the other half of the, of the tabletop. I see it's got a bottom part of the slot part groove for the tongue on the tabletop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it over this way and it's going to, that top is going to slide right against the edge of here by the placement of the bolts. together like so. Next thing, we can take this. It's a little note what I've done also is I've written on this on this table the words up and up on these pieces. So when you put it together it does make a bit of difference which side you're putting upwards because that's how the bolt holes line up. So I've got up sitting on here and according to my plans that should go through this hole here and notice there's a hole here that was from a failed attempt uh, putting it together that didn't work okay so the next one we should do is let's take this up this portion side says up and it's this side here and this one's going to go here but before I do that I'm going to put these two leg bolts through the remaining two it's a little bit easier to do it ahead of time all the leg bolts six inches too if you want it's just that you're going to wind up turning that wing nut for a longer length of the bolt. So just as well to make the three of them five inches and just the one six. So I'm looking at my plans here. That's where it's handy on that one piece I have the set of plans that I can reference while I'm putting this together. But you see it the bolt holes the way they are now this fits together with that so everything's gonna key together nicely next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this part here and so it says up there so I'm gonna put that bolt through here this bolt through here and this bolt through here 
Finally, let's take this guy here, and the way that's going to go, it's going to go something like this. I'll go to the other side of the table for that. So this one goes through this hole, and this one goes, there we go. Good. Okay. So now we got that in there. I'm gonna get this bolt, this swing nut started. And we'll get this guy started. Just like science, eh? guy up a little bit. It doesn't have to be super super tight, it's just to hold the thing together, right? Let's get a couple more wing nuts here. Wondering how to trim off these bolts if you have six inches and uh, want to bring them down to five inches. Uh, Dremel tool to cut off wheel, that works good. Just, if this was a better quality bolt, I would just spin it. And it would be attached in no time. It would be so cheap. And buy better, better bolts to begin with. And I can see here when I hold it, I can put my hand right in this crevice here. So I have myself a nice hand. Okay, let's. Uh See how this works here. So now that I got it held together, the whole unit just carries and transports quite easily. Pick it up, throw it into the back of your truck or in the trunk of your car. Nice and compact now, so not too heavy to lift. But if it was all in little pieces, this would be a real pain in the butt. But now that she's held together, it's uh, Makes sense, you know, you've got your instructions here if you forget how to put it together, which order. Uh, I think that should do the trick. It's, I think it's a useful improvement for the little amount of time it takes to drill a few holes through this thing. The hard part is just figuring out where the hole should go, so I'll supply that to you in the plans. Now what I would suggest when you do this, I'm not going to, don't rely exactly on the dimensions of where the holes go on mine. I would uh, just take the pieces, lay them on top of each other, and holding them in place, just take a long drill bit and run it through all the way through all the layers with it sitting in place. That way you're going to for sure get the, the bolts, to the holes to line up when it goes through. Because uh, everybody might build it a little bit differently, and if you just go off measurements like really, you don't want to have measurements even on the plan for this it's just the, the locations here there there and there which you'll be able to see and you can just eyeball that through actually it's probably the best way you're just going to have to lay the pieces together to do this so i hope this has been helpful to you uh, i'll uh, sign off for the weighted native chronicles and conclude by uh, saying as i usually do your support for this channel is really appreciated and that support comes in the way of subscriptions. Mainly it's, uh, it's a joy to do this work, but really the, uh, your active subscribing to the channel is what makes this all possible. So um, check out the uh, previous video to this if you want to see how to make the plans. Uh, and uh, fire me off an email if you want to have the plans sent to you. The email is going to appear at the end of this video. So for the Way to Native Chronicles, God bless.